Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. And I'm John. And this is Six Degrees of Schwarzenegger, the podcast where we take a long, hard look back at some of our favorite action movies from the era of Arnold. <laughs> Schwarzenegger is the icon of the genre, and we're taking a deep dive into some of these 80s and 90s cult action movies, and we're breaking them all the way down. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? How you doing, brother? I'm doing great. I'm so happy that we still got Rick with us to see us through to the conclusion here. We needed you. <laughs> you were here when... Minute for the long haul, I'm not ready to go yet. <laughs> we needed you. You were here when we needed you the most. It's, it's all going to be downhill from here, and we mean that in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this movie is picking up some steam here in the final stretch. That's right. We're here for the final uh, episode of our breakdown of... 1989's Roadhouse. A classic. It still, it doesn't sound right when I say 89. It should no. be like 82. Yeah, 83. <laughs> on a shoestring budget. Shoestring budget. Canon Films presents. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it right? should have been. Oh. That's nuts oh, to what me. What even happened in the last episode? I don't even know. I, you, you got me. A monster <laughs> truck. I remember something about a monster truck That's and pubic right. hair. That's Male right. Male pubes. I think that the, the, the long and short of it was that Wade and Dalton went out for a day of fun with the doc. Yeah. And uh, Wade and Dalton had a heart-to-heart about the one time that Dalton killed a guy. But it was okay yeah. because the guy was going to kill him. And then... <laughs> some other shit happened. Some other shit happened. And then Wesley had a... Had, he blew up a gas station. He did. And then he, he, and then he, he, yeah. And then he destroyed a car dealership, all he, in the name of keeping his his grip on Jasper. He got his. He made his girlfriend strip for everyone in town to see. <laughs> yeah. Um, he 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 almost had the the united might of the Jasper Chamber of Commerce <laughs> against him, but you don't too, want the you don't want the Jasper to do it. You don't want the Jasper Chamber of Commerce turning on you. You're gonna have a bad day. Yeah. This every episode of this series has been like a rinse and repeat. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been like Wesley tries to pull some shit to get a to get the better adult and then he fails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I guess I guess the biggest thing that happened really is that Wade rolled into town. Right? Yeah. Wade's like here. Town, like he's like the mentor of to Dalton, I guess. He's his yeah. sensei. He says Shidoshi. <laughs> it's, it's Yoda. <laughs> Shidoshi. <laughs> he is. <laughs> you don't look like Tanaka. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, and that's where, that's where it picks us up. So totally. um, back at the barn, Dalton has taken out some of his frustration on some type of punching apparatus. <laughs> Did it he looks, construct that It thing? looks like he rigged up like a rudimentary punching dummy with some two-by-fours <laughs> and some old pads. This is where I thought of the Quicksilver method. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought of, too. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly what I thought of, too, that he rigged up this punching dummy. Uh, I was, it looked like some shit out of a Van Damme movie, too, though, like a kickboxer or something when he's punching the little, like, that, that rack yeah. of pads. Yeah, that's exactly it's what just it is. Bizarre. It almost looked to me like a deflated glove that, like, the trainer holds up for a boxer, uh-huh. but that, like, it was flat so that it could fit over that piece of wood. At first, I was like, does does he travel with that in the trunk too? But I, but looking at the two by fours, I was he like, rigged no, it he, up, right? He, yeah, he yeah. built that himself. So he's got the Mercedes is out of the barn and uncovered. Does right. that mean like he's leaving? Is that he thinking about it? I would it? think that he's getting ready, maybe to. Well, no, because he, he's tempted to leave. Yeah, I guess. Or maybe he just doesn't care about hiding his money anymore. I don't know. Mm. So Wade comes calling. Hey, little amigo. You're all fucked up, aren't you? <laughs> I love, that is an amazing <laughs> greeting. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, Wade urges Dalton to just, like, come with me. Let's blow town. We'll never come back. And I'm with Wade on this That's one. a good-ass idea. Yeah. I Yeah. So Dalton tells Wade he can leave anytime he wants, then proceeds to climb a rope and start wailing <laughs> on a heavy bag in the hayloft. 
It's it like, is weird. He's like just yeah. aggressively climbing it's a rope. It's like some Rocky esque, Rocky Four workout. <laughs> it, was, it was like a show of strength because he didn't use the legs to push off on the knots. Yeah, the like rope. Out he just had him straight out like in an L position, like a uh, gymnast on the ring. He's working his core yeah, strength his, as well. His core is is powerful. So yeah, Wade's like <laughs> climbing. It's so mel- I've never seen melodramatic rope climbing yeah. in a movie before. <laughs> but look, yeah, he goes climbing. He's just shit. Yeah, like, I got I got to climb the hail off now. So he gets up there. And he's like, Dalton, you don't need this. Dalton tells him to not tell him what he needs and if he wants to go, to go and leave me the fuck alone. Uh, uh, Wade tells him that he shouldn't tell him what to do and he should, you're right, I shouldn't tell you what to do. I should just kick your ass instead. <laughs> so Dalton like whirls and throws a punch, which Wade catches with like that big smacking sound. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> sounds like thunderclap or something. And not even like his hand going backwards, just a straight catch, just right there this yeah. is the big like the wizard versus like wizard and apprentice yeah. sort of trope like <laughs> yeah. yoda and luke or yeah. fucking miyagi and uh, yeah. any anytime you got like the old sage training the young apprentice and like they have to at some point like clash with each other yeah like daniel doing the ali move and miyagi just foot like swings uh-huh. and puts him down like, put him down i like that like how haunted dalton looks he looks like scared and mm-hmm. haunted and, and Wade says, you know, we're not going to do it like this. We're, we're not going to fight. And that Dalton has taught him as much as he taught Dalton. And, and then he tells, Tinder. yeah, he tells him, you know, I love you. And then he's like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to leave now. We get the impression like he's leaving. Yeah. He's yes. leaving, he's leaving the, yeah. town forever. Right. That's the way it he's, seems he's to all of us here. Agreed. Yes. Okay. All right, we'll, so we'll, we'll get back to that. Dalton goes back to aggressively punching the heavy bag and then like <laughs> until he just can't anymore and he like leans up on it and he's like deep in thought. He's a tormented soul. He is. I think he wants to leave, but he also wants the dock. Plus, he's got that intense bloodlust. Like, he yeah. really wants to kill. Whatever it is in him that he can't shake that makes him want to rip men's throats out, it's like <laughs> it has reached a fever pitch. So later that night, Dalton is staring across the river at Wesley's mansion when Dr. Clay comes upstairs. Mm -hmm. She says she's come to talk. Dalton immediately gets defensive and says, no, you came to tell me to leave. Um, She says that she cares about him, but he has no idea who Wesley is. He calls bullshit and says he knows, I know exactly who Brad Wesley is. I've seen his kind many times. He keeps taking and taking till somebody takes him. He's, Dal- but Dalton seems like, like at this point he's like uh, he comes off to me as like resentful of the town people as well. He's yeah. like it's obvious no one in this town can stand up to yeah. him. Yeah, like he's just mad at the world. Yeah, she seems doubtful that Dalton will be the man to take Wesley. And but then Dalton says Brad Wesley picked me, and when he did, he fucked up. He fucked up. <laughs> I'm only good at one thing, Doc. I never lose. But actually, we so know we- that's not true because he's also good at ripping throats out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this scene must have originally been a lot longer because in the middle of the conversation, all of a sudden Dalton has a lit cigarette in his hand yeah. that was not there before, so Who there knows, must have been yeah. a, a chunk cut out of this thing. Yeah, Doc calls him out saying that the only person he wants to do this for is himself, and it's certainly not for the townspeople. And then she screams, who's going to save the town from you, really, when it comes down to uh-huh. it? And then as she like builds to this fever pitch, this big dramatic scream, there's a big dramatic explosion, and Emmett's house... Completely goes up and fl- I mean it blows up. That's Sky extreme. High yeah. Gone. Uh, Doc runs down the stairs while Dalton flies out the window <laughs> off the roof of the barn and bounces off some hay bales in the back of the truck. <laughs> Thank God the <laughs> truck was there. Yeah, he runs into the burning house, crying out for Emmett. Comes out carrying him like a potato sack. <laughs> There's like another massive explosion in the house as they're running mm. away. Epic, like the house was yeah. full of gunpowder yeah. or something. Across the water, Brad Wesley is watching in satisfaction from his veranda. He's got the fucking, like, the <laughs> full on, like, an ascot. He looks like Panama <laughs> Jack over there. It's like, he, if he had a monocle, we'd be set. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Dalton sort of, like, smacks him around, gets him to come to. Emmett says, he's, I'd be fine if he'd get off of me. I love that line. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird time to be joking, but yeah. Yeah, good for Emmett. Yeah. He's got a sense of humor still. And then. Jimmy, the goon, comes riding out from behind the burning house on a dirt bed, <laughs> laughing maniacally. It, oh. He was really close to where the house blew up, right? Right, like, yeah. I would think he would, if uh, we assume he's behind it, he would have been clear of the house before Why the explosion. Why stay behind? 
Yeah, I mean, well, I, I would think he's so close to there. the house, the concussion would have knocked him out, right? too, maybe. He's really close yeah. to the house. That's not super a small close. explosion. That thing went up twice. That would have been a big concussion that came off of it. Absolutely. Uh, so, I love that he stopped, though, like, stopped to laugh yeah. and, like, revel in his that own, laugh his own attempted murder. I love the, the, the tracking shot of the camera, like, in front of the bike and his, like, <laughs> head thrown back laughing. <laughs> <laughs> So, there was something evil in the 80s about, like, just dirt bikes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. like, from yeah. Uh, like, Karate, Karate Kid, Kid or whatever or else. Yeah. Like, it just seemed like an evil mode of transportation. It was cool. <laughs> Rambo stole one from that kid in town in First Blood. <laughs> yep. He did, totally. Um, so Dalton runs at warp speed, a superhuman feat of strength, <laughs> and tackles Jimmy off the dirt bike. He somehow seemed as if he was running as fast as Jimmy yeah. was riding. Yeah. yeah. Um, they both get up, and immediately it's like, whoosh, like, a strike a pose. <laughs> Oh, big time. This is this is maybe my favorite exchange of lines in the whole movie. There's Pre- some good ones. To die. You are such an asshole. <laughs> it's a great, great comeback. <laughs> we have been waiting for this like the whole movie. Yeah, I feel it's like. been yeah. building up since that first sexual look. Yeah, we hit the garage. Since Red's garage, it's been teased yeah. since that moment. We've, we've talked about some movies where they tease like a big fight that never uh-huh. actually happens. Right. Like, I thought about. Lincoln Hawk and Terry Funk, like they never actually really fought in Over the Top, right. or um, Arnold and Jesse Ventura and yeah, and Running Man, really like fight. Yeah. that never happens. And it's like, wait, what? How did the movie end and they, those two never fought each other for real? Mm-hmm. So I'm glad that this movie is at least giving us what it's, yeah, it's promised. What is promised. Yeah, yeah. Dalton takes early command of the fight, but Jimmy battles back and even things up. It's like. Dalton's kind of smiling with pleasure as he's, like, kicking ass right at the beginning, but uh-huh. then quickly yeah. turns into, like, this back-and-forth thing. Yeah, I think he got such control early, he's like, I got this guy. Yeah, his like, hubris got the yeah. better of him, like always. <laughs> if, you, always. if you listen to the podcast, you know that's a no-no. <laughs> always. Jimmy, somehow, in the middle of an exchange, like, finds a piece of, like, a plank of wood and, like, hits Dalton with it and then gets him in, like, a half Nelson. Apparently, like, that log or whatever he hit him with was real. Jesus. Like, oh, that they were sort of fighting, and, and the actor, uh, Marshall Teague, like, assumed that this was a prop, <laughs> and he hit him with it, and it really, like, fucked. Uh, Maybe that was the injury. Uh, fucked Swayze up a little bit. That's fucking nuts Maybe that's to the me, knee dude. injury or whatever, but I like the I used to fuck guys like you in prison. <laughs> that is the, one of the more memorable lines Ooh, of the movie. Yes. Yeah. It kind of, I don't know why, but it works like... I don't, it just is a, it's a memorable ass line. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Yeah. Um, the music playing in the fight scene was this, amazing. This is what we, were, we talked about in the very first episode. Like, Cayman, like, went all out, or Kramer, or whatever his name is. Like, Kamen. Went, Kamen, yeah. yeah, went yeah. all out. Like, it sounds like it's epic. This score It sounds is like Die Hard music or Lethal Weapon. I mean, it, it like, sounded just like yeah, Die Hard. It's like really. he knew, I've got a couple of moments in this movie, I'm going to make the most of them. Yeah. He gave him like a few good pieces of music, and this yeah. was definitely Perfect like a for high this point. fight scene. Yeah, uh, Jimmy is then in full control and just like beating the ever loving shit out of Dalton. He's mm-hmm. like got him bloodied and staggering against a tree, and then Jimmy's like, "Damn boy, I thought you were good." And Dalton's like, "Go fuck yourself." Uh, was and this is Dalton's when, not great at the comebacks. And this is when I wondered we've talked about throughout the movie like where Dalton is like the pie where he's like he is one thing and <laughs> pretends to be another thing but then is another thing underneath that the same, like the the same thing. as yes. the first thing I wondered in this was like was Dalton going easy on Jimmy during this to avoid like a rope to avoid ripping his throat out was he trying to control his animal instincts oh he was like reining himself in yeah that's what I, I don't know. I think as we've talked a few times, I think Jimmy was just that good. Yeah. I think when he hit him with the log or whatever, that like turned Even the tables. Things, yeah. yeah. Though in a normal movie, I feel like you'd say like, oh, he cheated. Mm-hmm. But in a fight like this, I feel like anything you can get your hands on is yeah. fair game. Yeah, yeah. this okay. is no old bar. Yeah. yeah. So Dalton dodges Jimmy's kick as he's like coming to kick him against that tree. Uh huh. He catches Jimmy's leg and sort of like it gets caught around the tree and he like wrenches it the oh, rest of the way around the tree. I feel like he tore his knee out there. Like tore it. all the ligaments. Yeah. Um, then he kicks him in the balls and starts beating <laughs> the hell out of him. Yeah, yeah. And then suddenly, Jimmy's like down on one knee and he pulls like a little snub-nosed pistol out of an ankle holster and says, 
I'm going to kill you the old-fashioned way, which which I guess means shoot him with a gun. I in fact, there are older ways than, than like, in that. I, would think, yeah. I think he was he was killing him the old-fashioned way. It was like his Indiana Jones moment with the uh, swordsman in yes. the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Exactly. Just, okay, enough. I'm sure. Yeah. Dalton kicks the gun out of Jimmy's hand, and then this is the moment we've all been waiting for. He rips his throat out oh. and kicks the dead body in the river. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The doc runs up at that moment, pulls Jimmy's body out, and tries to render first aid, or at least is, like, giving him the look over, but it's too late. Oh, he is gone. Plus, well, his, I said, she's, like, looking at the eyes and, like, no, the throat is gone. He's got to be in his dead. Hole it's like, it's like if, you, if you try to give him air, it's just going to come out of your <laughs> neck hole. So oh, <laughs> gross. The, <laughs> the throat rip, you don't see that much. I don't even know if that's possible. Yeah. I, Do you buy it? Do you think it could be done? I think it I I feel like that has to come from somewhere. You have to. The director said that he like heard a story that a martial artist did this to someone, but it almost feels like an urban legend or I something. I feel like there probably at some point in at in history there had to be some ninja or something that had like a gauntlet with a claw or something on it, oh, and man. like some weapon like that. That has to come from somewhere. I'm skeptical of just the bare yeah. hand doing. I don't it. think you yeah. can get, you get that your much. fingers in, and ugh, yeah. you'd have to have a hell of a grip. And a lot of adrenaline and <laughs> yes. yeah. There's a good throat ripping under siege. We'll have to check I that see, out. Yeah. Just Seagal ripping a throat <laughs> I've out. I've seen that movie. I think one time. Oh, dude, this rock solid. Yeah, Busey and Tommy Lee Jones in the same movie. That's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Bad. dueling bad guys. <laughs> Love it. So all throughout, like in the aftermath of this, Dalton seems to be acting like, oh no, not again. <laughs> I, can't is, uh, I was like, does he just go into fugue state, like full on great white boring. shark, and his it's eyes just, roll back, and he's boring. like. I have to. It's like borderline funny the way he's playing it. <laughs> he's know. like, oh no, no, oh, shit. it's happened again. <laughs> yeah, Doc seems disgusted. But rather That's than, weird, right? Right. I mean, yeah. it she doesn't was even a say life or death to moment. Him. Yeah? Uh, or was it? She I don't know that he had to kill Jimmy because he had already disarmed him. No, I don't think he had to kill him, but okay. I'm just saying, like, Doc didn't even say anything. She's just like, how dare you? And, like, leaves. Just she, like. Yeah. Just gives him this look, withering stare and leaves. Of course, like, he doesn't go after her. Right. No. Yeah, so rather than go after her, he, like, grabs Jimmy's <laughs> lifeless corpse out into the water, screaming, Wesley! <laughs> Wesley seems <laughs> we sort of get this, a look of concern or at least of interest on Wesley's face as, like, well, <laughs> Dalton's like, fuck yeah! That is, like, insane person behavior. Yeah. From him. It's like, it reminded me, I was telling Rick when we were watching, like, when, uh, Riggs and Lethal Weapon mm -hmm. were like McAllister. <laughs> yeah. He's like, who's fucking next? Yeah, he's, he's dragging the, his corpse out into the river. Like, yeah, just leave the body. He didn't want to go water. and like try to patch things up with the doc. He's no. like, got the bloodlust is up. He's got to go practice fighting. He's got to go do some tai chi. <laughs> so they had, they filmed this scene for five nights, the fighting, and they did the the. Thing like a ton of they did the routine a ton of times. This is apparently where Swayze hurt his knee, and they were like having to drain fluid out of his knee as they were filming all this stuff. Fucking log. Um, one thing was like they said a, at some point a raft of female Swayze fans came floating by because <laughs> they heard they were filming out there and like were m interrupting the sequence or whatever. But the thing, John, that I think you'll dig the most was uh, they I think did this scene. They did early on in the production because on the DVD, both the actors, uh, Swayze and Teague, uh -huh. said they hadn't really spoken to each other very much before they started filming the scene. And Marshall Teague was like, he thought of himself as a real martial artist and like he didn't really respect Swayze. Yeah. Like sort of he had to throw the fight, you know, to this pretend guy. Interesting. Or whatever. But like once he saw how hard of a worker Swayze was, they like everything changed. And he said like they became really good friends that like years later, anytime one of them was having a hard time in their life, like he'd get a call out of the blue from Swayze. Like if Swayze was having a problems or he'd call Swayze and like, they were like, that's bros, awesome, man. Amazing. bros for life. They bonded over this Riverside amazing. fight. Amazing shit. I do love that. Thank you for sharing that with me. But it, it also, it, it speaks to the endearing greatness of, Patrick Swayze. Yes. <laughs> everyone, everyone loves him. Rafts, yeah. rafts he's like of a, women. He's Marshall like, Teague. <laughs> everyone loves Swayze. Sam Elliott. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it's just universal For love. Sure. Uh, that's, that's a good story. I like anecdotes like that. Um, anyway, Jimmy died. 
Indeed. His corpse would float, <laughs> floating on down the river, floating right. out to sea. So the next yeah. day, Dalton in his gi slash shirt rolls up to the oh, double shit. deuce. He's apparently not been arrested for murder. How do you just show up to work again the next day? Or was he showing up to put in his two weeks notice? I or is like, I'm gone? I feel like he was probably yeah. showing well, that's up That's where you talked about it. He drove in the Mercedes. Oh, so he, so he's point. out of here. Good he point. got the Mercedes. I'm gone. He's here to just tell him he's yeah. leaving, I guess, yeah, or whatever. they all know about the beater that he had. This is, I'm out of here. Right. So as he's entering, the phone, the bar <laughs> phone is ringing, and it's, it's Wesley. Here's what's on today. <laughs> he tells Dalton either way to the dock is going to die and he's going to choose. Dalton tells him he's a sick man. Many, many questions. <laughs> yeah. Was how, it, did, how did Wesley know that it was Dalton? He, he just picks up the phone and says hello, and he seems he to know voice. it's him. He knows that voice. Also, how long had that phone been ringing? <laughs> just for all, like, like hours. All morning. Yeah, he was just hours. sitting there at his desk all morning waiting for someone yeah, to pick up. I think Wesley's been in there, like, doing correspondence. <laughs> or maybe he's just staring blankly at uh, I think Jimmy's body. I think he's staring at nothing. He's staring just, at Jimmy's yeah, body. Because this is 89. There's no, you know, voicemail or anything. He's just going to let it ring until somebody picks it until up. ringing until someone picks it up. I like the idea of him just sitting there letting it ring for hours. <laughs> Here's what's on today. Here's what's on today. <laughs> so he says, he says, somebody, one of these two people is going to die. He says, I'll flip a coin. I love the, hold on a second. <laughs> and then he flips the coin and says, I'd sure like to tell you how it turned out. And hangs up the phone. That's Ominous. sadistic. That's yeah. cold hearted. Yeah. Cold blood. Yeah. So at that moment, a beat to hell Wade stumbles through the door. Um, I like the little wave that he gives before like collapsing. <laughs> well, I mean, wasn't he leaving town last time we saw him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What happened? A, I think he got jumped. He on got the way jumped out. before he got out, but that's like eighteen hours ago. They've been beating him up for eighteen hours. Really? Okay. For, well, that was my like, thought. Was they took him that you know after he left the barn, they kind of you know maybe Wesley saw him caught him on his way out of town, caught him, yeah, beat the hell out of him. Then they pushed him. They drove him up and pushed him through the door of the double deuce. Because yeah. if not, Agreed. I think Dalton would have heard the motorcycle drive up. And he's in no condition to drive at this point. Yeah, agreed. I think they push him through the door. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. So Dalton helps him to a stool. Wade says that three guys jumped him, and then they, they told him he was lucky. Dalton okay. says, immediately starts to get like worried. He's like, I got to go find the doc. Wade starts to get up to go with him, but Dalton's like, you have a beer and wait for me to come back. <laughs> have a beer. Yeah. Set the fuck He's got to have, have like beer. all types of internal bleeding. He's like, have a beer. But but he's like, I got to go find the doctor. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> he should have taken him with him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, Dalton seems to, like, he's telling telling Wade, like, Wesley's one. He got to me, and we're all going to, we're going to leave together. Okay. We're going to load up in the Mercedes and get the hell out of here. Wade is definitely into this idea. Everyone's yeah. grinning and happy, and like we're on the same page. That a boy, me. So yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dalton rushes over to the hospital where a nurse at reception tells him Doc's an X-ray. Uh, he bursts in to tell her that she's got to get her things because they got to go now. Also, the doc is just working the next day like nothing <laughs> happened last night. Yeah, like her boyfriend didn't <laughs> rip a man's throat out right in front of her. Yeah, she's. I mean, she works at a hospital, so she's you know. seen us all before. <laughs> um, she says, "I'm not going anywhere with you." Oh, yes, you are. That's not cool. I see her view on this. I'm like, yeah, this dude. He exposed himself as a maniac last yeah. night. Uh, agreed. Yeah, Dalton starts to like manhandle her. She pulls free of him, tells him to forget it, and then he says, "Doc, the man is crazy." And she's like, "Are you, and you're not?" Yeah. He's more yeah, than a little. He's, he, he's lost it. What the throat ripping thing? He's I more explain. Than, <laughs> like, he's more than a little crazy. Yeah. yeah, like the way like killing Jimmy is debatable, but the way he acted afterwards, yeah, is uh, is nuts. I like that he seems sort of hurt by her, mm -hmm. like her saying, "What you're not crazy." Yeah. But he he is on equal level now with Wesley in right? craziness. Yeah, he's sadistic. Yeah, he's like I don't know that he needed to end Jimmy's life. He had won the fight. No. He had dis he'd taken the gun away. His knee was like, he didn't need to rip the throat. No. He, he just have done a liver die. die liver die, die man. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, she tells him to leave, which he does. He drives back over to the double deuce. He's like, weird he weirdly laughs as he enters to find Wade, like, we think, asleep on the bar. Tells him to, he's like, I said one beer, senor. <laughs> tells him to wake up because we're leaving. He nudges Wade, whose body rolls over to reveal that he's been stabbed. Shit. And it looks like Pat's knife to me, like that big hunting knife oh, or something yeah. like that. It's definitely um, a big old knife. Yeah. 
and there's a note pinned to the... I'll come back to that later, because okay. I think it's someone else's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a note pinned to the chest with a knife that says, it was Tails, so we, we get that that's obviously from Wesley. Shit. And uh, so then, yeah, Dalton goes through <laughs> all stages of grief in approximately yeah. 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, he had the den- denial and a, whatever, rage. Just and, yeah. cycling through them. Um in rage, I like the, like the sword in the stone movement where he's like, uh, uh, reaching out for the for the knife. He got the tears out. flowing, so yeah. easy. He was acting his ass yeah. off. He, was. he pulls the knife out of Wade's body, rushes out of the bar, gets in his car, and drives off. The orchestral score like flares up again at this moment. It's like, yeah. it's like sounds like yeah, Bartok again or some man. Dalton's car, car is sweet, dude. Oh, yeah, that Mercedes. That Mercedes Fox. is yeah. amazing. So yeah, we cut to Wesley spread. All the goons are laying in wait around for the <laughs> inevitable battle. They're they're all just handling their guns. <laughs> and then we get that like the remember that blonde? Mm-hmm. She could suck start a Harley. <laughs> Did that is, inspire? Uh, is sucking Paxton? start a thing? I don't know, but I feel like that inspired Paxton and True Lies. Yes. Had to. She suck start a leaf blower. So we can now assume, though, Denise is no longer in the picture. Right? That's my take. She's mm. finally, however it oh, is, she's out of. What did she happen to her? Did she get killed? That's what I debate. Is she dead, or did Wesley just oh, let her go? Is, is her body with Jimmy's body? Shit. Mm. I don't know. I could see that. Ha- I could see him doing that, but shit. That's yeah, dark. I could see, I could see him dark. killing Denise to take out his aggression from Jimmy dying. Yeah, man. Ooh, I hadn't thought about that angle. I like that. Well, so, don't like it. You know, yeah, I know what you mean. You are sick, man. You know what? You're really sick, man. So suddenly, Dalton's car comes Flying up the driveway, a la Lincoln Hawks in over the top. Oh, yes, it does. The Cutler Estate. <laughs> the, guys, the guys spot it, start to scramble, and the Mercedes bursts through the rail fence. Which flies apart as yeah, if it was made just, of balsa wood, which, which, because it was. It was yes. Yeah, because it was. So the goons all open fire, the car's still coming. As it's like gaining speed across the lawn, they all like scatter to get out of the way because, <laughs> duh. And then it, it hits a stone wall closer to the house. Goes into an airborne barrel roll, explodes in midair, and then crashes to a stop finally. That was a pretty rad stunt. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was awesome. The like, was really, said, really they cool. said there was a driver behind the wheel what? to do that, wow. which is nuts. That's insanity. Yeah, Those that's guys incredible. Are not and I love the little comedy moment Kevin actually picked out of this with Morgan. And the way Terry uh, Funk was firing his gun. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> he was doing like you would when you were a little kid, where every time you pull the trigger, you go like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, his arms as a gun. Uh, yeah, going you can't up see in the like air. the gun's like <laughs> jumping in his hand, but just weird. It, 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 Terry. Looks, it looks so bad. Terry, yeah. Lethal with a chair, not so much with a gun. <laughs> give, give, give him that branding iron from the Double Cross exactly, Ranch. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So the goons approach the car, fling the door open, only to find that it's empty. What? The gas pedal had been pinned down by the knife that was used to kill Wade Garrett. Fuck yeah, that dude. Prick, yeah. Says catch him. Uh, Did you notice it had like a little like a quarter? In the hilt, like oh, in the really? end of the thing, no, those tails, that nice. was tails up. That was awesome. This is where I think with the knife, I think it was Ketchum's. Okay, that killed Wade instead of Pat's because it's the same one we know Dalton took. Right, and that Ketchum puts it in like you know very. You He's know, got an empty he puts sheath. It in his sheath. Good very call. Nice. He had so an empty sheath. Ketchum's. Yeah. Good call. I well, thought then, the car was driving like a straight for a car with no driver. That thing was across grass. That thing was driving a sh- like a straight ass <laughs> line. Like that alignment was That's on point. Saying, that, me- that mechanic deserves a raise for the <laughs> yeah. alignment on the Mercedes. Do and this is where I start to wonder, like, why? Like, where did Ketchum become vice goon number two instead of Morgan? Like, why above Jim? Like Jimmy was number one. Now Jimmy's yeah, gone. Yeah. It's just like when Morgan uh, was the higher profile goon. I guess it's just was because- he to you. Ketchum to me struck me as like maybe he number two. He suddenly became the number two. Yeah. But it's just like maybe it's because he knew how to drive Bigfoot. He's maybe. the only one. <laughs> maybe if they kicked him out of the group, then he takes Bigfoot with him. <laughs> <laughs> we have he has to stay in the band, you guys. <laughs> so the guys head up to the house. They seem to think that it's smart to split up to go hunt Dalton down. Uh, yes. <laughs> what? What? 
Why? We haven't been able to take him four on one. Let's all try it one on one. Let's do it. We, if we all four go with guns and find him, we'll kill him. But instead... <laughs> Let's split up. Anyway, Ketchum finds Morgan out cold beside an open door into the house. Well, then I started wondering, is he out cold or is he meant to be dead? I you think like he's unconscious? I feel like everyone's meant to be dead. I think they're meant to be dead. I think he's meant okay, to be dead. Okay, so he's got like... He's just killing everyone yeah, now. He's on a that's, murderous... That's what I think. Okay. Okay. Which makes the whole ending of this movie even weirder. But yeah. anyway. apparently they shot all these encounters. Just they cut them out for time. Uh-huh. But the director said, like, we filmed all the because it is weird. Just very quickly they find yeah. Morgan and the other guy like out of commission. Dalton's a badass. I guess so. He's doing it real quick and quietly. It'd be amazing if just every person's throat had been ripped. That would that (laughs) would that was the move that I would. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. So then Ketchum enters the house cautiously with his shotgun raised. He finds O'Connor also down inside. Is it wrong that I feel bad for O'Connor in this moment? He's had a rough movie. He has (laughs) had a rough movie. Wesley kicked his ass. Dalton kicked his ass. O'Connor should have blown town. Yeah. Then when they yeah. were uh, when the liquor was being delivered, he got dumped in a dumpster after having his ass kicked, <laughs> and now he's died. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's, it's a, a surprise life. to me that after the dumpster thing, that Wesley would have left O'Connor alive. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, like he needs to either be yeah done away with or at least kicked out of the gang. I guess I don't know. It would have yeah. been more awesome if if if. Dalton had like rounded a corner in the house and O'Connor was standing there and O'Connor just like dropped his gun <laughs> yes. and said like I'm out and I'm just like enough. left <laughs> yeah. right? that should have been the thing that happened anyway I they're think, over there yeah exactly <laughs> Ketchum's right over here he's behind the thing we think it's problematic that that um Dalton is just seems to just be on a murdering rampage yeah. right yeah. like that's not very heroic no he's in this unhinged. particular moment and it's, that's like it's the, the same th- level as wesley he's got no problem with killing people right now yep. none whatsoever he has proven wesley right yes all the um like all this interior you know dueling it out in the mansion like had some whatever beverly hills copper like commando yeah, vibe to me like just yeah the, like, felt sure. like a bel-air beverly hills mansion type setup agreed so Dalton gets the drop on Ketchum. Ketchum tries to shoot him with the shotgun, but Dalton kicks it aside. Dalton wrestles the shotgun away. Ketchum pulls out the big knife. <laughs> Dalton kicks the knife out of his hand and up into the air and then grabs Ketchum by the throat, catches the knife, uh-huh. tails again, and guts him. I was kind of hoping for throat rip too here. <laughs> Another throat rip? Right? He's Dalton what? is always able to kick faster than someone can wield a knife or pull a trigger. Yeah, it's miraculous. Um, then that was like a revenge killing. I feel like yeah. that was like the one. It was f- revenge for uh, fucking again. Wade. Yeah, for yeah. Wade. yeah, and that's another part. My body into the knife that, being catchums is like totally you're the one that sense. killed my guy. Totally makes sense. So it's at that moment that Pat appears <laughs> on the balcony with a shotgun. <laughs> Dalton whirls using Ketchum as a human shield. And Pat shoots Ketchum in the back. That's gruesome. Yeah, dude. And then Dalton pulls the knife out of Ketchum and whips it up at Pat. However they did that, it looked really yeah, it cool. It looked really cool. <laughs> and then Pat, like, falls over the balcony dead. And good old rest railing in, kill. Rest in peace, Yeah, that's Pat. a classic stunt, just dead body falling over And another, over another great thing from Westerns. It's like dudes doing oh, yeah, railing kill the all the time. or whatever. Um, <laughs> Then we see, like, Wesley starting to, like, walk around, like, walking through with a pistol, like, surveying all the carnage and kind of, like, he seems shaking his tickled. head. He like, seems, like, amused. Laughing, like, oh, that Dalton. I think he just loves to see people, like, maimed and bloody, <laughs> yeah. even if they're his own people. Yeah. I, I can hire more guys. Yeah. Yeah, he just is, like, amused by the violence of it all. Yeah, we also see Tinker um, <laughs> nervously... Like scurrying around the big game trophy room, like I hate this place, <laughs> dude. Rowdy Harrington said that all that shit belonged to the real homeowner. Like that was not all props that they brought in, except I think the polar bear and the monkeys. But like that, the dude who owned the house, they just went in and were scouting locations, and this dude had this room, and they're like, "Oh, this is our location." It looks, it looks like my ex-wife's husband's trophy room. Shit, I'm not like I don't. I'm not. I don't vibe on trophy killing he had like a like a stuffed male lion and some really oh my yeah gosh. it's fucking weird wow. yeah like yeah i don't know how much sport there is in hiring a bunch of guys yeah. to help you sneak up on a lion and yeah. shoot him in Agreed. the back Agreed. i don't know majestic so, animals i know you know who's not a majestic animal is tinker <laughs> <laughs> and as as he's scurrying oh, around shit. the trophy room a 10 foot tall or taller polar bear gets tipped over and 
Rick was talking about the like cartoon like. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's and he's weird. like, it's fire on the thing because it's falling on him. Because that's gonna stop. And it. how? I mean, how heavy? We talking about this too? Like, how heavy is that? A couple thing? hundred pounds at least. Yeah, right. Even if it's like two, a three, hollow, two, three hundred. Even if it's a hollow shell of a thing, it's uh, gotta be heavy. And then Dalton like walks out with a kiss off line. You're made for each other. Weird. Yeah. So at that point, that like Wesley enters. I see you found my trophy room, Dalton. The only thing that's missing is your ass. That's actually a pretty great line. You like that? I do like that line. Uh, Wesley starts talking about how killing Wade, who he called just one old man, he's just one old man, was a mercy killing. He just put him out of his misery. Why is he trying to... You're not mad at me for that, are you? Jesus. Why is he trying to get Dalton even more riled up? You took Jimmy. He was in better shape. That's like... That's where, like, I was thinking, like, humans are just chattel to Wesley. Yeah, exactly. Like... They're just things to be controlled and gained or lost or, like, property to be won or lost. Like, he has no value of their lives. Yeah, and then, Bizarre. And then at first he, like, seems genuinely tickled, like, amused that Dalton killed all these guys. The music in this scene also is just straight-up yeah. diehard music yeah. again. And then he, he's, like, trying to get Dalton to come out and talk, and when I was, he's like, this town's big enough for the both of us. Which is weird, um, right? That's a weird. Then, when that's I the was, opposite of how that's destroyed. Isn't that the how that's not how that saying goes? When I was first, like, you know, reviewing this and thinking about it, I was like, "Does he think that that's gonna work?" But then I was like, "Maybe he. I don't know. Maybe he means it. He's just so crazy. He's like, we both love killing people. We can kill. We can both kill people." <laughs> Like, I think it's way too late for that. We can rule the galaxy as father and son. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, but also it's like Dalton just murdered several people to yeah. murder you. So yeah, I don't think there's no, no cool. There's no talking him off the ledge yeah. now. Um, Dalton, who we saw on the other side of what looks like a buffalo, and somehow miraculously scurried around to the other I side. I don't know. Of the that buffalo. thing looked like an ice age animal something. or something. It was like a weird little small like a buffalo ba- type like a baby thing. mammoth. A woolly, yeah. a baby woolly mammoth. So weird. Some shit. So he like jumps out from behind this stuffed, whatever that damn thing is, <laughs> where Wesley had to have been able to see him before. <laughs> yes. And yes. Wesley gets a shot off, and it hits Dalton in the shoulder. Uh-huh. Dalton kicks the gun out of his hand. D- now is a wound. Is this are the is the playing field level now a wounded Dalton? I think so. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, because you can see in a couple of minutes or seconds here when they square off in the movie, like Dalton's, it's almost like yeah. a separated shoulder. It's hanging yeah. low. He's only got his right hand up in a fight. He's position. fighting with one arm tied behind <laughs> yeah, his back. Exactly. Literally. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Dalton's beating up on him a little bit, and as Wesley like falls backwards, he grabs a spear out of a basket full of spears. <laughs> you just got to keep a and, basket of spears. And like a boss, chucks that <laughs> spear at Dalton. That was an amazing like, throw. Like, yeah, it was real, like expertly uh, done, is, is sir. Is this how he's killed some of the animals in That's his room? That's what I think. Like, maybe maybe Wesley does have <laughs> yeah, skills. Do you think he was like, in Korea, was he like killing men with his bare <laughs> I hands? I don't think he was that kind of war. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like, like Rambo. Yeah. Yeah. It was a Vietnam, like, no, maybe. Korea? Yeah, not Korea. Nothing so is much. over. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just turn it on and off. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's exact. Yeah, I remember seeing like if if they'd really played Wesley as like some PTSD shit, that would have been effective. Oh, I like could if see he'd it. just been like off his edge, you know. But um anyway, Dalton seems weakened from the gunshot wound, because uh, Wesley grabs another spear and just starts hitting him with the shaft. <laughs> Why not the yeah. sharp part? <laughs> I don't know, man. Hit him with like, the blade. Yeah. Uh, Dalton breaks the spear in half and then they're like beating it. Uh, I love as they're beating each other up, anytime that that Wesley just takes and like slaps him with that chunk of spear is so yeah. funny. Oh, there it's, was one that he went across the face. Yeah, would have just and there wasn't a. Re- I mean, he is you know messed up a little bit. There's not a scratch like from that. Yeah, where that thing it would be like getting whipped. Like there would just be this red mark across your face. That was I liked that. I was like, damn that that looked like it, <laughs> it was, was for real. Yeah, that shit was effective. It looked like it hurt. Um, then Dalton kicks Wesley in the knee, pain which is hurt. the same other thing. Like yeah, <laughs> pain <don't hurt. laughs> Like we get the same as like uh, that that knee tweaking thing that Dalton learned from Wade. Um, um, it did seem like it tore something in Wesley's knee. Yeah, yeah he dropped. So 
they sort of are like dropped on the ground together. And Wesley says, I thought it would be fun to fight you, Dalton. I really did. <laughs> but now I just really don't have the time. I don't have the time. I, like, he like, I think he fancies himself a tough guy. Yeah, he yeah. does. Like, he's like, oh, I'm your match. I'm your, I, I'm as tough a guy as anyone else in the world. I've been thinking about how fun it would be to fight you hand to hand. What? No, <laughs> that, you haven't. No. The kick to the knee of the old man, I feel like, felt like more of a cheap shot. Yeah. Than when it's like the mountain or uh, right. one of these other dudes. So Wesley produces a small pistol, something from from his. Uh, where does he? We don't even know where he like pulls it Did out. It come of. out of a boot, maybe, boot? or I don't know. Is another pocket? boot gun. You would think it had to. But Dalton, true to form, roundhouse kicks the gun out oh, of his hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, he knocks him to the ground, gets on top of him, and is poised. He's got that claw up in the air, ready to rip throat. <laughs> like there are other ways yeah. to kill a man. <laughs> That's just like his only. That's way. what I say. It's like he's this like, is more fun. It's a compulsion. It's like he yeah. can't. The it's hand like has a mind of its, it's own. like you learn. It's like a video game. You learned this one move, and that's your move. It's like me with finishing move. move. Finish him. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> something happens. So, but anyway, after this very pregnant pause, Dalton decides to fight his demons and to not throat rip Wesley. <laughs> Only now will I be a, the better man. <laughs> Never mind all these dead people. Yeah. Um, yes. And it's at that very moment, thank goodness, that Dr. Clay comes running in to see how he's changed. What? How, how did she know to be there? And why? why? After the way she dismissed Dalton. Isn't she on the clock still? Yeah. I have no idea. The only thing I could come up with is she's working at the hospital, and when you have a big trauma coming in, they call ahead and say, prepare the trauma ward. She Ooh. may have heard the call. That's it's like, I know what's going on because it's Wesley's house. Like there's an explosion at the Wesley yeah, house or I whatever. I know what's happening. There's been and an explosion or, or someone called from the Double Deuce and said, we've got Wade Garrett's body here. Yeah. If she would know he was and going there. Know. Maybe was his up. corpse got rolled into the hospital and yeah. and she's the like, corner. oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that, to me, makes the most that's, sense. That's yeah. a good one. I hadn't thought of that one. That's good. So Dalton like gets up off Wesley. Wesley picks up the little pistol it's over. The doc screams, no. And then, <laughs> and then, boom. Wesley gets hit right in the like upper chest area with yeah. a shotgun <laughs> blast. It looks like just meat has exploded off of him. Oh, them. God. And suddenly, somehow, <laughs> the room is full of it's, town elders with yeah. shotguns. Uh, was there a big chunk missing here? Because all of a sudden, yeah, they're just in the room. They didn't even come in behind the dock or anything. They yeah. just all spread around the trophy room. They were all hiding in yeah. the taxidermy. Like, <laughs> and this is, I had the same man, question with weird. them I had with Doc. Was like, how did they know what was going on there? And Doc. the only answer I had, I mean, in the framework of the movie, was Doc told Red. Yeah, that's exactly And then Red tells all the other guys that are in that little posse, like, hey, this is going on. Let's go. It's Maybe they really were just independently, like, on their own <laughs> coming to kill him. <laughs> Like, well, they were yeah, pissed at Red's house the night before, right? Yeah. It's like, this is it. Yeah. We're going to come and take out him and his army. Yeah, yeah, it makes so they all. It's like they all take a shot. They all take their turn so that not one is complicit. Yeah, so not one. Other. No yep. one is fully That's guilty. Right. <laughs> uh, with Tillman like lining it's up like the last a shot. Caesar, like Julius Caesar. Exactly. Yes. Uh, we all have to stab him, or yeah. else uh, two Tillman and two <laughs> Emmett. <laughs> this is our town, and don't you forget it. I like when they sh he gets that lash out his body. Wesley's body like flies back and through that glass coffee. There table. was not a whole lot left of him. No, no. though you John, you said you I, wished it was worse. I wish it was like that Murphy death death in Robocop. Yeah, na 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 na. But I love, <laughs> I love the visual of it though of him just going through this glass. Cops table, don't just... like me. I don't, I much don't like, like cop. cops. So yeah, Doc is rightfully trauma. She's just like standing yeah. there like. <gasps> Can't now move, she's witnessed paralyzed. her uncle like killing in cold blood. The man she yes. loves and her uncle are both murderers. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, maybe that evens it out. So now she can love Dalton again. I don't know. I think she got there in time to see Dalton had the chance to rip a throat and chose not to. That's so right. Yeah, he's you know he's reformed. I or he's it. not a he's not just a, a murderer. He's right, not a, exactly. He's not a. He, he does is, have though. power. Yeah, he, he, is, he, he, <laughs> he murdered five people just now. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, Red is like gathering up all the shotguns and hustling them out of there. Like no one knows. Collect where that they're. evidence and get it out of here. It's <laughs> where are you going to hide it? I don't know. Um, meanwhile, Tinker has freed himself from under the polar bear. <laughs> the sheriff and some deputies who we all know 
are employed by Wesley come running in like looking for Wesley. Yeah, they're here yeah. to to back up Wesley, right? Totally. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, big time. The sheriff's like looking around, like, "Who's going to tell me what the hell happened here?" I wondered who called them to come on out. That's a Maybe, good question. It could be Wesley corner, did before like he went to start his Maybe, yeah. thing. I don't know. I don't either. Anyway, um, so the elders all say they didn't see anything. They like go around, and like, I didn't see anything. Did you? <laughs> no. Do you see anything, Tinker? Yeah, Tinker takes a long look around and sees some, like, stuffed, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys on the mantelpiece. Yep. And he's like, a polar bear fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just, the guitar shredding starts, and there's it's just like a the big belly laugh. Yeah, so like, well, he says that, and you see Strodenmeyer in red over there, like, covering their mouth, trying not, trying not to, to, laugh to laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, the triumphant guitar <laughs> shredding begins, cut to the double deuce where Cody's crushing it. And then we cut to the farm where sometime either before or after that, like <laughs> Doc and Dalton are skinny dipping is like Cody sitting under a tree playing guitar. Like, yeah, what? That's, that's weird. Dalton just pulls that like button naked belly flop <laughs> into the thing. But is it creepy or is it cool? Like at the, the to be doing this in front of a blind, blind friend, like, but they're sort of fucking in front of them, too. I don't I know. Like. Man. I, 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 guess, I still think it's a creepy factor. Yeah. No, just, big time. Yeah. I mean, I know he's blind. Dalton, but still. the exhibitionist, he's like gets off on it. And I yeah. guess like skinny dipping is a it's a good treatment for PTSD from witnessing <laughs> several murders. Sure, all is forgiven now. And I guess Dalton has decided that Jasper is home, right? Is that is he here to implied? stay? I is, guess so. Yeah, it seems that's, that's, that's what I took from it. Was he's like I'm going to settle down here with Doc now? And Cody, is this Cody's is where I'm going to put down my bouncer roots. That's right, and Cody's going to be the house band from now on. Yeah. Forever. Deuce, and Tillman's going to make a mint. Tillman, yeah. yeah, yeah. If he's does that five hundred dollars a night go f- in indefinitely? That's what I was going to say. Is he still making the good money? Because forever the double and ever and ever. That's a good question. Like now that Wesley and all his goons are gone, does he need? Not really. So right. So does. So does Dalton become the philosophy teacher at the Jasper High School? The community college. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he lives off know. Doc's money. Well, or as we've said, we think he didn't pay any taxes because it's all cash Good money. Call. So, he's, so he's just been stockpiling he's money. On a and he's just egg. sitting on a mountain of money. He's, he's all tucked under that mattress in, in Emmett's like, barn. Like, babe, like, like, we're good. I got, I got this. We're, we're good. Mm. We're so between him and Doc and, and Red, probably getting back out there and starting yeah. another garage. Okay. The family's going to be okay as far as money goes. Yes. Sure. So yeah, Cody hits the, the chorus of a, a rockin' ass song when the night comes falling from the sky and the credits roll. <laughs> and that's all they wrote for this <laughs> that's one. That's fucking Roadhouse. That's Roadhouse. Uh, yeah, they like let the whole performance roll out over the credits. Yeah. But, um, that's good. Just let him tear it up. This movie, nominated for five Razzies. Yes. <laughs> His worst picture, <laughs> worst actor, worst Aww. supporting actor. Who is supporting? Gazera? Gazera. Gazera. Worst, worst director and worst screenplay. It didn't, Damn. It didn't win any. I don't feel like the screenplay was that bad. <sighs> Polar bear fell on me. <laughs> I love that that's the last spoken line of the movie. <laughs> it really is. That's pretty bad. Um, I, uh, I guess, it, didn't yeah. win, it, didn't, it didn't win any of Gentlemen, those awards. Wade Garrett. This was the... Uh, <laughs> This was the 1990 Razzies, and John will be tickled to hear that the award for worst actor of the decade of the 80s went to Stallone. <laughs> just, as right. a, just as a fan of the uh, podcast here, I know that just makes John happy. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> He's such a Stallone guy. Uh, uh, the movie, I mean, basically wow. was a flop. Um, yeah, it, That's sad. But, it, I mean, I get it. It's terrible. It made $30 million on a $17 million budget. It didn't lose money. Right. No. It just, I think... It was expected to be a hit because uh, Swayze, Swayze, Swayze was so marketable at that point, and obviously it didn't turn out that way <laughs> for good reason. But, you, man, it found its life on cable TV, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Well, they got my 4 or $5 at the theater, whatever it was <laughs> in 89. <laughs> I'm glad. That, that makes my heart glad. <laughs> we talked about, like, on TBS, there used to be that series, Movies for Guys Who Like Movies. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I feel like this movie is, like, the prototype yes. for that. This or, like, a Rocky Four mm-hmm. or fucking Commando or Bloodsport. Blood sport. Yes. Just, Definitely like, blood immensely sport. watchable and, and terrible. 
but great to yeah. just have a beer and, and veg out to I let your rate, mind go yeah. to sleep. <laughs> I would literally rate it as one of the best bad movies out oh, there yeah. that you thoroughly enjoy. It's incredible. You know it's bad, and it's like the bus jumping in speed. It's not going to make it, but I don't care. Yeah, no. I know I this movie's it. not here good, but it. I don't care. I love it. Shut up and enjoy the die. <laughs> exactly. <hard. laughs> Just go for the ride. Exactly. 1989. Good year for movies that weren't this one. <laughs> um, You're not wrong. That was that Batman was number one for the year. Incredible right. film. But this yes. was also we talked about it. I think before it was the year of the sequel. It was like. Uh, Last Crusade was out this year. Right. Lethal Weapon 2, um, Ghostbusters 2, I think Karate Kid 3. Mm-hmm. Dude, The Abyss came out this year. Wow, that's a good wow, movie. I love The Abyss. I love The Abyss. Yeah, there were a lot of good movies, yes. and this was not one of them. This was better than, better or worse than Tango and Cash? Better than Tango and Cash. You think? Yeah. I think so. A little better movie, yes. Yeah. The, just the, like, the written dialogue and interactions between characters uh-huh is natural in this movie <laughs> okay i had to watch them back to back i did, i'll Salone torture sucks. myself so what, hard what, what, just on Cash. name pronunciations i want to speak to kesh i want to borrow a line from you two from earlier podcast i want to talk to think about jack Powens as your villain I love Jack Palance. Yeah, we love Jack Palance, but think about him in that movie. Bring me <laughs> Lieutenant Eckhart. <laughs> then the mice. And don't forget your lucky day. <laughs> I need videos of Tango and Cash. Fucking up my shit. <laughs> Dude, tango, you, Cash, Cash, and Tango. Uh, oh, my God. Palance is a great villain. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. In, if he'd been a younger man, he could have played all That's what. Role. Yeah, I was about to say, could he have played the role? He could have slayed yeah. that part. Yeah. Mm. I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Getting me all. Getting you all out of <laughs> Turn down the heat and the vapors. <laughs> Man, we did it. We <laughs> certainly did. That's a hell of a movie. Rick. Can I add one final note about please. this? Please. Would you please? There was going to be a remake. What? In 2015, they had tapped Ronda Rousey. Mm. They were going to flip this and have her be the Dalton character. I love that. Uh, Nick Cassavetes was supposed to be behind it to write the screenplay and everything. Damn. But okay. uh, when Holly Holm nearly kicked Ronda Rousey's head off and ended mm. her undefeated streak, uh, she kind of lost her luster, and so they nixed the remake. That sucks I, that, I, that everything I, was hanging on yes. that. Mm. I've seen her in other movies. I, she was in Expendables. What else? She was in Expendables 3. Uh, Fast and Furious, I think she she was was in one one of those. There was another movie with Mark Wahlberg. I believe she was in something 22 or something like that. I hate. Oh, yes, I did see that. I hate to say it. I don't really hate to say it, but she's like, she just can't act for shit. No. So that also probably is like, oh, we're going to have a movie with someone who's no longer like Invincible and is a not. Remake it. Remake it with somebody like Regina King. (laughs) Yeah. I'm trying to think. I mean, there's plenty of badasses yeah. you could have. Or despite like, what's going on with her recently, Gina Carano would have been great just with her background. That's yeah. true. I mean, I know she's had her issues she lately, play, but she, she just play has the a She can character. act a little better, yeah. for yeah, sure. Yeah, Gina can act a little, as we've seen from Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she, issues aside. Right. I don't right. think we've totally. seen the last of of the Roadhouse brand. No, I don't no. think so either. Something that'll get a reboot yeah. or something. Well, there there at some was point. a straight to video or DVD sequel. Which, oh, yeah, you were talking about which that. Which I have never seen. No. Um, and I'm going to go on record. I will never see. No. I'm going to go on and see it on Amazon. You, right need right a, you need an A list. Like, you need yeah. to do it up right. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I'm trying to think who would even be badass at it. Who's an ass kicker these it would, days? It would depend. Are you trying to continue the same story, or are you rebooting it? I think it's a it's a, like a modern and update, a reboot. Modern mm. it up a little bit. I don't know. I always love to come back to Michael B. Jordan, because he's an ass kicker. Yeah. yeah. But he he's, awesome. he's, yeah. He's got his own bigger and better things going, I think, though. I don't know. You could do Jason could, Momoa. I was going to say that you could do something with like Jason Statham as the uh, as the Wade the, Garrett oh, character. The, the, yeah, and I'm trying to think okay. if you could be the younger guy because mm. uh, that that would be a good matchup. I'm trying to think though, who would be? He'd be a, play a great like mentor bouncer. Yeah, yeah. 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 maybe some. No, he's. I was going to say that kid that was in um, the Elton John movie. But oh yeah, Taron something yeah. I think or Ed, oh yeah, Taron Edgerton. Edgerton. Yeah, Edgerton. Yeah, Edgerton. That's his name. Yeah. Like, um, but he's like too like young and good looking. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's what people said about Patrick Swayze. Yeah, exactly. yeah maybe. Hmm. I, I don't think know. on that one. But I think it's gonna happen. Yeah. The 
the audience is there for it, and yes. Hollywood will remake everything at some point. I'm Absolutely. there for it. I'm there for it if they do. Yeah, it. I'll, I'll, if I'm you do it up right, hell yeah. Yes, I would pay. It'll money. be like a Absolutely. WWE production, don't you think? Like one of these, like. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, this movie is just like, it's the movie equivalent of pro wrestling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Absolutely. It's like just oh, violence with an occasional. Yeah. It's like porn. <laughs> yeah. It's like a fight with meaningless dialogue punctuating fight scenes. Yeah. You well, know? T- tell me you can't see back in the day at this time, 89, Ric Flair jet flying and limousine riding with this movie on. Oh, hell while yeah. They're, while Big they're time. going town while to the town. girls are riding Big Space time. Mountain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oldest ride, the longest life. So good. So good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We'll, we'll be back, I'm sure, with something uh, better or worse than this. <laughs> yeah, we might be dipping back into the, the Schwarzenegger whale soon. I do. So. I want to I wanna revisit... I want to get back to Arnie. He's yeah. never far from my heart. That's right. <laughs> well, we hope everybody's staying safe. Wear a mask. Get your shots. Yeah, we'll be back. Yeah.